knew there ain't a method to the madness here I spark the vision, bring the drama to the atmosphere I spit the season like an atom, then I'm out of here I'm only speaking on the matter, and that's what I'm saying What's up, everybody? I'm David. Hey, everybody, and I'm Rubber Sun, and together we are Barrels, Barrels and Sun. We're back at it again. That's right, and today we're cooking out the home spot. That's right, the home studio. Today we're gonna draw inspiration from the good times, man. Mm. We're talking the golden era, the boom bap era of hip hop. That's right, we're gonna be moving from the late 80s till about 96 with it. And along the way, we're gonna show you 10 hip hop tricks to show you how to access the holy temple of the boom bap. To start things off, okay. what's your top five? Give me your top five favorite boom bap albums of all time. That's a hard one, but I'm gonna have to go like this. First and foremost, let's say Midnight Marauders, Tri Call Quest. Yes. 36 Chambers, Wu-Tang. Mm. Daily Operation, Gangstar, mm. for sure, for sure. Mm. Ready to Die, Notorious B.I.G. And then of course, we're gonna do Onyx, Back the f Up, for sure. Oh, so you wild, huh? Rowdy. <laughs> okay, all right, my top five, I got this. I got Liquid Swords, mm. Jizza, AZ, Do or Die. Of course. Red Man, there is a dark side. Ah, the joint with the red cover. The red CD. Yeah. The red CD. I got Mob Deep, the infamous. Nas, it was written. Over oh, Illmatic, bro? Come on, man. Go ahead. It's my list. This is my list. What's your list? Let us know your top five favorite that's right, that's boom right. bap golden era albums. Hit us in the comments below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. Sub, sub, sub. To keep up with all the latest news, tips, tricks, and more. From Waves Audio. That's right. So we're gonna, we're gonna get into the boom bap. Let's go. So what's the foundation? A boom bap. Drums, bro. I'm gonna open up the CR8 sampler. We're gonna start by finding an old school break. And then right inside CR8, you open up Cosmos, which is the AI powered sample finder. And basically it scans your whole computer, tags every sound, every loop, every one shot, puts them all in one place, and helps keep all your samples organized. Man, you got like over 10,000 samples up in here, bro. I know, too many samples. I'm gonna select drum. Let's go with a loop. Mm -hmm. Let's go with break. Okay. Let's go old school. All right, now let's see what we got. I like this one. And then to get it into CR8, you just double click it. And now we're gonna chop out three elements. First, we'll grab this kick, bring the start point over, assign it to my pads. And then we got the kick here. Gonna chop out that snare, put it on my pad. And then the last thing, we're gonna get the hi-hat. And then basically we tap out a basic rhythm and get it started. You ready? Basic rhythm. Yeah, man, but the only thing that's killing me is the velocity on that hi-hat, man. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one of these modulators, change it to sequence. Okay. Sync it, set the rate. Then I'm gonna draw four steps. Okay, okay. And then on the first one, I'm gonna bring this one all the way up. Mm. All right, and I'm gonna create these steps. So on the next one, we'll go a little less. On the third one, a little less. You're gonna give it that breathing. That's gonna give it that breathing. Mm -hmm. So on this last one, I'll take this up just a little bit. All right, we'll drag the mod onto the volume of the hi-hat, dial it up. Check this out, ready? Yeah, now I'm starting to get the feels with it. Let's go. That's it. Now, one of the things that defines boom bap is the layering of the drums. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna layer the drums right inside the sampler, and we're gonna put these right next to the break samples. So I'm gonna go to my collection of drum machine samples. Uh -huh. We're gonna go to the TR-808. Okay. Add a couple kicks from that. Mm. So we'll take first this bass drum one. And grab that sub bit of weight too while you at it. Exactly. Let's go to the ASR-10. Mm. We'll go to the ASR-10 and we'll grab a snare. Okay, so you're gonna blend all the different machines together. Yep, yep. And then another classic, the SP-1200. We're gonna grab a couple hi-hats from this. And then I'm gonna tap out almost the same pattern. Okay. This time I'm gonna add a little accent to it. You know what okay. I mean? Add a little accent on the okay. kick. Yeah, you need that double kick for that 90s feel. So what we're gonna do now is run the chop breaks and the drum machine samples through this plugin chain. This is the Boom Bap drums plugin chain. And if you produce Boom Bap or classic hip hop, this is definitely a must grab for you. We included the macros for you. You dial this up if you need to remove any boxiness in the drums. You also got the other macro here to clean up the top end. And both are connected to the Q10.
We also got the SSL G comp to gel it all together. Add a little bit of that SSL thump. We also added the Samplex by Beat Skills. And this is a plugin that emulates the sound of vintage samplers. And we set this up to emulate the vibe of the ASR10 classic drum machine. And that specs out at 30 kilohertz and 16 bits. So you use this macro to dial up that vibe. And the other thing I like about using CR8 and Studio Rack is collaborating across different DAWs. Definitely, because I'm on Logic, you're on Ableton. Exactly, so that way we can still send each other the same kits and the same preset chains. Facts, facts, facts. And it lines up. So on the chain, we also got the knock and the thump knobs right here, which are connected to Smack Attack and the Pewee Tech EQ under the hood. Pewee Tech. And the Pewee Tech. Pewee Tech. Pewee Tech. And then last thing on this chain, we created a parallel split. And this is set up to do a little New York style compression with the API 2500 and then the Manny EQ. So here's the before and after with the boom bap drum plug-in chain. So for the sample, bro. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. I'm thinking about something that, you know, something jazzy, something chill. How about an acoustic piano? Okay, I'm done with that. What you got? But we can't just leave it like that. There's nothing static about the boom bap. It gotta, gotta move a bit. Indeed. So we'll lay it across the pads. Okay. Chop it up. Get to the chopper. Now you can use these transient markers right here. These are gonna help you line up the chop points. I'm gonna turn on soft mono here. That's gonna turn off or choke the previous sample when I trigger the next one. Check it out. All right, so let's bang out those chops over the beats, man. Let's go. So after we lay down the chops, we're gonna run it through this next plug-in chain. This is the boom bap sample chain. One of the highlights of this chain, the vinyl knob right here, giving you the crackle and the clicks via Abbey Road Vinyl. On the light edition. Check it out, if you listen to it, it also breathes in time with the beat. You see right here with the one knob pumper after it. Now we're getting some movements, not just sitting there static. Right, yeah. right. And we also included the stop effects knob, which is connected to another instance of Abbey Road Vinyl. Mm. We also got the AM radio dial here. Don't forget that retro warp and wobble. The more to the right you go, the more filtered it gets. You also got the delay here, and we set this to give delay throws with CLA Epic. And check it out, all you gotta do is turn it up on the parts you wanna throw. So you can just hit those on the fly anytime. Then up top here, you have this boxy macro assigned to the F6 to keep any muddiness or boxiness under control, like this. So the last thing that we did for the arrangement was add a few additional samples. And this is a pack called Passive Hues by Pelham and Junior. So we grouped all those samples together, and we ran them through the boom bap sample chain. Here's the before and after on that.
So right next to the drums, the most important thing in boom bap is the bass line, that which holds it down. Mm -hmm. The trick with the bass in boom bap is to accentuate the drums, you know, make an addictive bass line. Yeah, but something that's not too complicated right. either. I got this patch right here I created with the Element Virtual Analog Synth. I like that. It's pretty much a deep sub sine wave with a touch of the square wave mixed in for that mid-range. I dropped it to mono, smoothed out the attack. Gave it some distortion. Filtered off the highs and the lows a little bit. And then after that, I added a little tube where I'm cranking up the drive, saturating it. Okay, give it more of that griminess right there. Yep, yep, more presence with the drums. All right, boss, so give it to me with the drums so I can finish writing these lyrics, bro. All right, bro, I'm about ready to put some balls in this, man. What you saying? All right, check this out. For the boom bap. Yep, yep, yep. We're not going with the condenser. No? 58. Okay. So for the boom bap, we're going with the 58. And if you struggle with getting a good sound out of a dynamic handheld microphone, like a 58, mm. 57, something like that. Make sure you get this plug-in chain. That's right. This is the boom bap 58 vocal plug-in chain. And it does everything from removing noise in the room, to cleaning up the vocals, to removing problem frequencies, you know, that you typically get from a dynamic microphone. It also has the macros to color while you record, and we're gonna use this in real time, man. So you ready? Let's go. Let's go, what? Bad habits. Don't cup the mic. Some nights I contemplate this life Like what's the meaning if the price ain't right These lost days where we can't see sight See it's the righteous type Slide off the high breeze Yeah they ain't with pipes G money new jacks off the rocks they hype Slight chance to advance under pair moonlights I do the devil's dance Burn loose for finance Now what's the dealings? All block we in the building for proof Off the roof like bishop and juice Chest moves bulletproof Visualize the whole truth Jewels between my mind that define my youth Now I'm a grown Oh man, strictly legacy and loot. Whoever knew there ain't a method to the madness here. I spark the vision, bring the drama to the atmosphere. I split decision like an atom, then I'm out of here. I'm only speaking on the matter, and that's what I'm saying. All right, so real quick, to break down this plug-in chain, we got the NS1 to remove the room noise. Here's what the room sounds like, by the way. So then you just knock that up. And we're good to go. Next, you got the low and the high controls to roll off the low end and to tame those upper mids and also DS the highs with the F6. Meaning if the price ain't right These lost days where we can't see sight See, it's the righteous type Slide off the high breeze Yeah, they ain't with pipes Meaning if the price ain't right These lost days where we can't see sight See, it's the righteous type Slide off the high breeze Yeah, they ain't with pipes And then the CLA 76 here to catch those peaks followed by the Manny Triple D to take care of any boxiness or that harshness you typically get from a dynamic handheld mic. Some nights I contemplate this life like what's the meaning if the price ain't right. Some nights I contemplate this life like what's the meaning if the price ain't right. The Manny EQ is connected to the color control, which you can use to brighten and add more presence. Some nights I contemplate this life like what's the meaning if the price ain't right. These lost days where we can't see sight. See, it's the righteous type. Slide off the high breeze. Yeah, they ain't with pipes. Then we made this parallel split. We ran the vocal through the magma BB tubes for a little lift with a little tube saturation. Some nights I contemplate this life like what's the meaning if the price ain't right. These lost days where we can't see sight. See, it's the righteous type. Slide off the high breeze. Yeah, they ain't with pipes. And then the other split goes to CLA Epic, which is controlled by these last four knobs for your slap delay, delay bro, small reverb, which is a room, and a large plate reverb. All right, so here's the before and after with the boom bap dynamic vocal mic plug-in chain. 
some nights I contemplate this life Like what's the meaning if the price ain't right These lost days where we can't see sight See it's the righteous type Slide off the high breeze Yeah they ain't with pipes G money new jacks Off the rocks they hype Slight chance to advance on the pale moon lights I do the devil's dance Bring loose with finance Now what's the dealings? All block We in the building for proof Off the roof like Bishop and Juice Chest moves bulletproof Visualize the whole truth Jewels between my mind that define my youth Now I'm a grown man Strictly legacy and loot I said wait See that's the cost of a bad decision And if you take the chance Then you need to listen Take the time you in your eyes From the tunnel Wait hold up What's up y'all? When you're coming in on a punch mm -hmm. It sounds like two different people Yeah I got you I got you I got you I got you I need to leave better on a punch Here's a little trick for doing punch-ins For you guys at home What you want to do is open a new track I'm going to have you record on this new track, and all I want you to do is come in a little earlier. Okay, I got you, I got you. Than the actual punch spot, you know what I mean? Okay. That way, the tone will match. And we can have the same energy, same vibe going. Exactly, and it'll sound seamless. You ready? All right, let's go. Make that kick to the feds, roll it up in the place. My man Dread caught one in the face. I said, wait. See, that's the cost of a bad decision. And if you take the chance, then you need to listen. Take the time to free your mind from the tunnel vision. So what's the mission on deck? We still hustle for the bad, but now we move with respect. Real lives cross the line that there's a cause and effect. See, it's the truth in every bar that got you ball with your neck. And it was shooting for the stars that got us out of the depths. All right, good. So once we catch that, what I'm going to do is go back and take out that part leading up to the punch. And now when we play it back, Made that kick to the feds rolled up in the place. My man Dread caught one in the face. I said, wait. See, that's the cost of a bad decision. And if you take the chance, then you need to listen. Take the time to free your mind from the tunnel vision. And it's seamless. Sounds like a solid take. All right, bro. So we're going to need an extra texture, something that runs throughout the track. You know, keep it more interesting. What you want to do? Talk to me, man. Talk to mm -hmm. me. You know, like in electronic relaxation. Uh, they Drive. got Yeah, yeah. They All got right. that little gling, gling, gling sound going on. Oh, you want the gling glings? The gling 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 yeah, gling. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a sample, by the way, though. Let's check it out. Who is it? Ah, it's Ramsey Lewis on the keys. I see, I see. I ain't no Ramsey Lewis mm. by any means. But after listening to the original sample, it does sound like a rope. Yeah, 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 it does. It does. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull up the electric 88. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna go like this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay. And then I'm gonna use smack attack to smooth out the attack of it. Mm-hmm. And then we'll throw H delay on it, going at an eighth speed. I, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. And then I'm going to send the output of this track to a new track and record on that. Mm. So check it out. Then I'm going to take this new recording, drag it into CR8. We'll hit up the start point, mm -hmm. assign it to the pads. Let's filter it off a little bit more with the cutoff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it on classic mode, but I am going to bring up the pitch and speed a little bit with the tune. Check it out. All right, one more thing we'll do is add another instance of H delay after CRA. Yeah, it. man, ain't no life without H delay, bro. So when we trigger this with the beat now. Yeah, there we go. We still need a vocal sample, bro. You know like how in Nas it ain't hard to tell, it got that yeah pumping? Behind them, yeah. And we're gonna open up Cosmos, search through the vocal one shots. What are we gonna type in, man? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Something more sh sharp. Yeah. You gonna take this one? Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. I'll load it into CR8, copy it onto two pads. And then on this first one, I'm gonna bring the start point over. And then I'll use the second one to trigger the yeah. Uh huh. Then I'm gonna draw a little slope right here, because you know I was gonna draw a little slope. You gotta have them happy slopes, bro. I'm gonna give it a little pitch rise to it. Yeah. 
So when we added it to the track, we used the boom bap sample chain to give it a touch of vinyl to it. We're writing a couple delays. And let's hear it with the track, man. Yeah. yeah! You ever notice how in the 90s boom bap, like everything was minimal? Mm hmm. Yeah. But it still sounded full, like it was just mm -hmm. swelling and busting out the speakers busting and whatnot. Busting out the speakers, yeah. 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 So here's a way to achieve that. This is the rear bust technique, a trick coined by Andrew Sheps. All right, and it's basically parallel compressing the whole mix minus the drums. What you wanna do is create a new aux or return. I'm gonna call it the rear bust. And then what I'm gonna do is send everything to this bus. So we're gonna send my samples group and the bass and then the vocals. Now you wanna use a fast FET style compressor for this. And you wanna set it up in dual mono. So in the rear bus, I've got a studio rack mono stereo component where I created a parallel split with two CLA 76 compressors. I've got the splits pan independently left and right. And here's what it sounds like by itself. It all started with a shake of a pigs, ducking shots, running blocks on chase. Flip the scales, just to bait that kick to the feds rolled up in the place. My man Dread called. So here it's only the instruments and the vocals. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Now both compressors are set with a ratio of four, but the attack and releases have slightly different settings between them. And that's gonna create a sense of swelling and add a feeling to the whole mix. And since we're sending everything but the drums to it, the vocals are gonna be the loudest thing to hit the compressor now. That's right, that's right. So watch and listen as I dial it up from zero. Check it out. It all started with a shake of a pace. Ducking shots, running blocks on chase. Flip the scales just to bait that kick. To the feds rolled up in the place. My man Dread caught one in the face. I said, wait. I'm not even hitting the compressors that hard. Look, it's about minus three to minus five. I see. DB of gain reduction right there. Not a lot, but you heard a difference. So one way to check the mix, you know, make sure it sounds good any way you take it is to check it on different speakers. Definitely. An even better thing to do is check it in a professionally treated environment. Now this yeah. room is cool, man. I love this room, but yeah, it's man. not a hit factory, though. You hating it, you hating it. It ain't a hit factory, it's not. Yeah. It gets the job done. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna check the mix now in a top dollar, professionally treated, state-of-the-art facility in New York City. This is the last trick, so I'm yeah. figuring either Waves is gonna fly us out to New York, or nah. we're gonna do something cheesy and scripted. We're going super cheesy. We're here in Germano Studios, formerly the Hit Factory NYC. Just like what I thought, super cheesy. Kind of, yeah. Countless hits were made here. In terms of the boom bap, we're talking Biggie's Ready to Die, Facts. Nas, It Was Written, Definitely. Miss Education of Lauryn Hill, just to name a few. Mm. This plugin puts you right in the same control room. Through the headphones. So right. what we're gonna do right now, everybody who got headphones at home, put them on. We're gonna use the SSL EV2 channel and Abbey Road Vinyl. We'll send the mix off with a boom bap vibe on the master while inside, and it's Germano. We're gonna start out with the patented Germano acoustic speakers. Some nights I contemplate this life, like what's the meaning if the price ain't right? These lost days will be can't see sight, see us to right. All right, but we need to bring it down on the snare a bit. Okay, add a little bit more brightness overall. We get the builder for truth, off the roof like Bishop and Juice, chest moves, bulletproof. All right, then we're gonna switch to the NS10s. The man is here. The Give me more of those vocals too. Why we at it? And then you got the Exegy four-way speakers. Yeah, I mean the big speakers, yo. Give me some more of that bottom. I mean, make the room shake. But then you realize in due time you can't take it when you go. It all started with a shake of a pace. Duck a shots, run a blocks on chase. Flip the scales just to bake that cake. Till the feds rolled up with the You can also move the position control around. It just gives you a different perspective from different angles of the room. And you also got that old school analog phone right there, just in case you know. You can call the front desk, bro. Order some pizzas, man. And using the different speakers in the room will make your mix translate better 
across different systems. We actually listened to a few of our favorite boom bap albums through the NX Germano. We left a link to the playlist in the description below. And we listened to them side by side with our own mix. Right, and all you need to do is route your browser through an internal mixer or something like SoundGrid Studio. Which you can download for free. That's right, that's right. And doing this is gonna give you that confidence that what you're sending out is on point. Well, there you go, guys. 10 boom bap mixing and production that's secrets. That's right, that's right. Hope you had a lot of fun doing this. I know I had fun, yeah. I mean, it was really dope doing a throwback on this one. Definitely, man. definitely. Make sure you guys check the link in the description below. That's right. Because we left you with the plug-in chains. And of course you got the presets that that's you right. just saw in the video. That's right, make sure you download those. Mm -hmm. And if you want to learn even more, be sure to head over to waves.com slash boom bap. Definitely do right. that, but before you go over there, hit subscribe. Sub, sub, sub. Hit that subscribe button that's to right. keep up with all the latest news tips, tricks, more from Waves Audio. And until next time, thank Good you for boy. watching. See, this is real life star, but you ain't know. You wanna be live, cars, lost stacks, and on show. This is real life star, but you ain't know.